All right, welcome. This is the end. So uh, I finished mixing the Olive Dares the Darkness song and I've printed and exported the final mix, which I've imported into the session, as well as the master, which I've got back. And we're going to have a listen and compare the two, see what the difference is. And uh, hopefully it'll be interesting. Now, um, all DAWs have solo, which I'm sure you know. And as we know, when we select a track in solo, it just plays that track, mutes out the other ones, right? And we can have multiple solos at the same time. Now, there are other solo modes, and we're going to swap to XOR. XOR is great for comparing things, because basically when you select one solo, and you select another, it cancels the previous solo. So if you want to swap between things to compare, this is a great way of doing it. So let's listen to the final mix. Shitty. I've got no time left for feeling bad or having fun. And I'll spend no time bitching when I've got shit to get done. Oh. Okay, so uh, that's the mix. Sounds good to me. And let's have a listen to the master. Shitty. I've got no time left for feeling bad or having fun. And I'll spend no time bitching when I've got shit to get done. Oh. Okay, and apart from that little bit of distortion on the kick, which I've just heard, it sounds great. Um, now, obviously, it's much, much louder, and um, you can hear it's changed a little bit in the top end, and it sounds a little bit more cohesive. But I just want to talk to you about what you should expect and not expect from mastering. Now, obviously, it sounds a lot different. If we listen to the master... I've got no time left for feeling bad or having fun. Swap to the mix. I've got no time bitching when I've got shit to get done. Oh, heal me. I'm killing me. So the master sounds a lot better, right? Well, or does it? What I also have here in this session is a copy of the same master, but I've turned the level down so it's the same level as the original mix. And we're going to play and compare those so you can hear what's actually happened apart from just volume. So let's listen to the original mix and I'll swap in and out of the master as I play it. Jimmy, I've got no time left for feeling bad or having fun. And I'll spend no time bitching when I've got shit to get done. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> now, as we can hear, I mean, you can hear the things I pointed out just a minute ago, like the top end has changed a little, and it's a little bit, bit more together and glued, as they say. But there's not been a massive change. And this is either going to make you very happy or upset you. Because if you're expecting mastering to make a dramatic difference to what you do, you may well be disappointed. Our goal as mixing engineers is to deliver something which is as close to the final record as we possibly can. So there is almost nothing to do in mastering apart from make it louder and fix any issues if there may be some. Now, I work with people that I can trust generally, and I don't second guess them. So I just use them as a QA person, as a second person pair of ears and I trust them to make adjustments that they feel are appropriate to the mix. But as you can hear, what you're really aiming for when you're mixing is to deliver something as close as possible as finished. So you may be disappointed if you're expecting mastering to completely change your mix and turn it into something that it isn't. The real value really comes into play in my opinion, when you're making an album and you maybe have songs which are mixed at different times in different rooms or even by different people. And 
trying to take that and make it into a cohesive album, you know, and a unified kind of listening experience. And um, that's something that's really beneficial that comes from mastering with somebody that you can trust. So the moral of the story is nail the mix. And um, this is what we strive to do. So I hope this has been interesting and informative and useful to you. If it has, please hit the like, uh, subscribe, and leave me a comment if there's anything else that you would like me to cover in the future. And in the meantime, happy music making and happy mixing. Take care, guys.